Welcome back to Hot Thoughts TV. Pico here with another news update. So recently we covered that Gunplay and DJ Envy had a little bit of an issue. This comes from DJ Envy bringing up Gunplay and his family's situation on The Breakfast Club to use as ammunition in his beef with Rick Ross over a car show. This led to a three-way call that came from Gunplay, Charlemagne the God, and DJ Envy, which ended this way. Why are you talking crazy, man? Talk crazy about who? About me, my brother. I, what I had to do with anything, man, and, and, and my wife posting a GoFundMe, man. What that? My, my, my baby was sick, man. Was, she had a heart defect, my brother. Why? Why? Why has nothing to do with cars? You know, I'll slap the no, shit no, no, out no, you, I boy. I wasn't talking about your baby. Today. No, nah, you was. Envy, I'll like slap the Envy, for real. Yeah. I'll, you, Envy, for real. You know I'll slap the shit out of you, right? For that, you know that, right? We ain't doing all that. No, 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 no. I'm no, no, no. I want to be clear. I want to be clear here. You know, I would slap the shit out of you about that, right? And then we could fight, but that's not the reason I'm saying that. See, now it ain't gonna be a fight. It ain't gonna be a fight. So from this phone call, it led to DJ Envy going back onto the Breakfast Club and quoting the Florida law, basically saying leaking a phone call is a felony and could lead up to five years of imprisonment for gunplay. After talking tough on the phone to Gunplay for something that he brought to the internet when Gunplay was never even involved. Family issues, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like nobody wants to see their wife crying. Yeah. Nobody but all wants of that, to see but, but that's why I said I, I said that wasn't you. my intention. And mm -hmm. like I said, I didn't right. mention his wife or his child. I never right. even said what it was. I just said he put up a GoFundMe right. and I was talking about Ross helping his friends. That's mm -hmm. where it came from. So mm -hmm. it never went to him. Exactly. And but you know, another thing that people gotta understand too, right? Mm -hmm. And this is a side note. It is against the law to record somebody's phone conversation mm. and not tell them. That mm. is against the law. I, I, I can't stand it. I don't know why people yeah. do that. Now, now I want people, I want people <laughs> yeah. to understand, right? Florida is where, where, where this happened, right? Mm -hmm. Under Florida statute 93403, mm -hmm. secretly audio recording of another individual is a third degree felony offense, punishable up to five years in prison and a fine. Mm. That is a fine. Mm. So now... District attorneys from Florida have been calling me like crazy because you're not allowed to tape somebody's phone yeah. call and put it out. Yeah. So from DJ Envy's response back to Gunplay, Gunplay actually responded again, this time with the cease and desist letter. The letter states, to Rashawn Casey, AKA DJ Envy, June 2nd, 2023. Dear Mr. Casey, it has come to my attention you have been making statements about my client, Von Shea Taylor Morales, and Richard Morales, also known as Gunplay, that are false and misleading. These statements were averred, decimated by you and your associates on a national, if not international level through a public forum. This has caused substantial harm to my client's mental health, as well as their character and reputation, which further adversely affects their present and future interests. These statements constitute slander, defamation, and potentially violations of statutory law across several jurisdictions. On the behalf of my clients, I hereby demand and formally notify you to immediately cease and desist making false, slanderous, defamatory statements regarding my clients, not limited to false, slanderous, and defamatory statements related to the medical conditions of my client's infant child, false, slanderous, and defamatory statements related to the utilization of a GoFundMe page, to facilitate payments for life-saving procedures, false slanderous and defamatory comments related to donations made by William Leonard Roberts II, also known as Rick Ross, to assist in the medical care of my client's infant child, false slanderous, defamatory, and potentially illegal statements of varying that you have been contacted by law enforcement interested in prosecuting my clients for criminal conduct, false slanderous, defamatory, and potentially illegal statements suggesting that my clients violated the law in any way through the recording of conversations regarding this and related matters. Please be advised that unless you immediately cease and desist making these false, slanderous, defamatory, and potentially illegal statements, I will have no choice but to take the appropriate legal steps to protect my client's character and reputation, including seeking relief in a court of law for monetary and equitable damages. So, in this situation, who do you feel like is wrong here? Me personally, I think DJ Envy definitely is wrong. He had no business bringing up a man's family, especially a sick child. The children are supposed to definitely be left out of it, as well as people who are not even involved in your situation. Granted, hearing what he said, 
He didn't blatantly call out the daughter, but it was close enough to where I definitely believe DJ Envy knew what he was doing and what he was saying. After being given seven days to make a public apology, then Gunplay post the call. At first, I felt like Gunplay might have been wrong, but seeing that he did give him seven days a whole week to come out and publicly apologize, as he said he would do, I can't say I fought Gunplay because it's showing a flaw in DJ Envy's character as far as being a stand-up individual. However, this is another situation I feel like the internet has done nothing but make us look less than. We take our problems to the internet and, po and talk about our problems on the internet and it becomes content, topic of conversation, and then people have to choose sides and belittle other sides based on what they see and what they hear without knowing the full context of what's going on. Hopefully, DJ Envy and Gunplay can resolve this behind closed doors because as it's reached such a, a public scale and such a high attention level online, I feel like it hasn't done anything but hurt both of their brands, whether it be because of Gunplay's threats towards DJ Envy or DJ Envy just speaking out of turn on a situation that he really has no information about. Hopefully this can be squashed behind closed doors even though it was brought to the internet. Let me know what y'all think. Who do you think is wrong in this situation? You think Gunplay is wrong for getting the cease and desist? Or do you feel like DJ Envy is wrong? Not only for bringing up the GoFundMe situation, but for then going on and saying he would make a public apology that didn't happen and then following up by going online and saying that the Florida DA is calling him as if he was trying to do some incriminating on the podcast to get gunplay locked up. Let me know what you think below in the comments.